मैस्टर आसन एंड इफ योर आसन इज नॉट मास्टर्ड हाउ कैन यू मास्टर योर प्राणायाम वेन आई से मास्टरिंग आसन देन इट मीन्स विच एवर पॉस्चर यू हैव टेकन यू डोंट मूव योर लिम्स नीज टोज फिंगर्स बैक and you sit with the erect spine neck and head for 2 hours and 25 minutes that is called asana siddhi mastering the asana see asana siddhi is something very great sitting in a yogic posture and not moving your body huh? eyes closed spine neck head in 90 degree hands may be in gyana mudra or chinna mudra sitting in padmasana the lotus posture or a half lotus and not moving requires lot of training patience endurance you cannot become a great musician in one day you cannot become an asana siddh the one who has mastered the asana in one day it's every day practice every day sitting every day watching your mind your ethics your actions your efforts your thoughts your emotions your speech you cannot be called a meditator if you have a bitter tongue you cannot be called a sadhak if you are a glutton eating like a pig you cannot be called a sadhak if you are a slave of your own senses you might have heard i know you are a jaina by religion there is a fasting tradition in hindus in buddhist the fast fasting means that whole day i will not eat say grains or i will not eat salt or i will not eat anything cooked or i will not eat at all it can be any kind of fast people have forgotten why actually the fasting was supposedly to be done it was not just depriving yourself of food if food deprivation is fasting then all the poor citizens of poor countries are fasting they don't get to see food but that is not there tapasya that cannot be called their austerity they are not doing any penance fasting meant that you have the access to food but you choose not to eat why tongue will say i need salt i need salt i need salt mind will say i need salt i need salt and you say no does your mind settle down or is your mind still crumbling just because you could not eat salt so this these were baby steps to have a firmer determination and grow your sankalpa shakti you know it very well in jaina community even fasting has become a kind of a competition where it is exhibited and newspaper article for 108 days the muni has not eaten anything it becomes a news or if somebody is doing santhara this becomes all much bigger news ego trip then then it is a ego trip when you sit down and you make a resolution that i will not move 
डे वन यू कैन ओनली सिट से फॉर टेन मिनट्स ओके डोंट बी हार्ड ऑन योर सेल्फ सिट फॉर टेन मिनट्स कीप सिटिंग टेन मिनट्स एवरी डे फॉर नेक्स्ट वन वीक वन मंथ मे बी टू मंथ देन एड टू मिनट्स मोर टू इट यू कैन यूज अ स्टॉप वॉच टूडे आई विल सिट फॉर ट्वेल्व मिनट्स we slowly train our muscles ligaments and our joints ek hi din mein thoda na sab ho jayega roz roz abhyas roz roz abhyas ab sawal ye hai ki jab aap baithne ki ye abhyas karne lag jaoge to baith tabhi sakoge na jab man chhalange marni chhod dega ya जब मन को ये समझ लग जाएगी कि मैं जितना मर्जी शोर मचा लूँ ये उठने वाले नहीं हैं तो थोड़ी देर बाद मन अपने आप चुप हो जाए यू से सिट डाउन एंड क्लोज योर आईज दैट यू विल डू सम काइंड ऑफ मंत्रा और प्राणायाम एंड नॉट इवन फाइव मिनट्स गॉन एंड योर माइंड इज सेम गेट अप गेट अप Take cup of tea. You haven't taken your tea, and you say, "What the hell? Let's go and enjoy the tea." Who has won? Mind has won, right? Mind has destroyed you, and this is the game of the mind, which keeps on. keeps on manipulating because at the moment your mind is the boss not you you are not the boss in this house who is the boss mind is the boss and you listen to your whimsical mind all the times man kehta hai ghumne chalo chalo man kehta hai kuch khayenge khayenge man kehta hai badi yaad aa rahi behan ki baat hi kar lo फोन मिलाओ मन कह रहा है बाहर बगीचे में जाते हैं पार्क में जाते घूमने के लिए आप उठे पार्क चले गए मन जो कहता जाए आप वो सब करते जाएं तो उससे सोचिए क्या आपका मन मजबूत होगा या मन कमजोर होगा इफ यू कीप ऑन डूइंग व्हाट योर माइंड इज आस्किंग यू टू डू If you comply on the dictates of your mind, your mind will get more stronger, not weak. Now, what moves your mind? Let's understand this. What moves your mind? Your work, your family. your daily needs your grocery shopping your taxes some work which your boss had said you to do something related to outside world and you have attached your mind to outside world so much so that you can't live without it i am remembering a mother she was in the kitchen her son was in the drawing room the son said mom i need water mom said okay but she kept on doing her work he again yells mom i need water mom said either get up and take water or wait when i will be free and you won't die without water so wait or come here this mother is a tough mother this mother will train her son very well but most of the mothers in so called name of care are running after children take your milk take your fruit eat your food even when the child has become 20 the indian mother is still not going to leave this 
nonsense. They think by doing all this, they are showing their love. No, no, no. Sometimes mothers suffocate children with their over-possessiveness. Give space to your children. Let them grow. Let them be responsible. Let them take care of themselves. Why do you need to spoon feed them all the time? They are not babies anymore. Here you in your home try to sit with closed eyes and the boss mind says get up, do your laundry, there are too many clothes. Do your grocery, do your cleaning, pay your bills, answer your emails. Mind is popping all these ideas. Now you have to be a tough mother. And tell the mind, wait until I finish what I am doing, then I will do whatever is to be done. But the thing is, if you are not doing anything correct, then mind is but obvious going to run around. So Anuja, you say when you sit, I am skipping the word meditation, you say when you sit, the thoughts still keep arising. Number one, why pay attention to the thoughts? Let them come and go. You do your work. What do you mean when you sit? Aren't you doing anything? If you are doing something and doing it correctly, where is the space for the mind to come in? This means you are not doing anything or not doing correctly. Got it? Not doing correctly. Number two, thinking is a a, a function of mind and this is what mind should do and there is nothing wrong when mind thinks. The only thing is you should have ability to check when to put mind into sleep mode and when to keep mind in an active mode. But again, if you don't understand the mechanisms of your own mind, then you don't know how to switch it off and put it into sleep mode.